those who say the world is mithya they are also right those who say the world is satya they are also right you would say how come is he sitting on the fence is he compromising first consider the external world around us and then we shall move inward regarding this world many people say it is mithya you must have heard this word in the lectures of gyanis brahma satyam jagan mithya jeevo brahmai vanapar what is mithya mithya means non existent like the horns of a rabbit have you ever seen them why not they don't exist that's why you've never seen them like a flower blossoming from the air have you ever found one of course not why not it doesn't exist similarly some people contend that this world does not exist it is a creation of our mind this mana kalpana vad also exists in western philosophy the idealism there is subjective idealism and objective idealism starting from plato's concepts of the world and in the medieval times later on berkeley was considered the father of idealism fichte hegel etc also supported his theories to some extent that this world is a creation of the mind and in our indian philosophy jagat guru shankara acharya in his proposition of advaitvad non dualism he said brahma satyam jagan mithya the world is non existent because if it exists then there are two entities there is no advait there is brahman and there is the world but then the vaishnava acharyas took another stand the vaishnava acharya said the world is temporary a sat but not mithya non existent they gave their logic they said if the world is non existent this microphone is it a creation of our mind if it is then how come everybody has created a same microphone sm58 somebody should have created a sennheiser microphone somebody should have created a flower somebody should have created a towel if this world is a mental creation then everybody should have created a different world and the world is so fine and subtle from the higgs boson god particle up to the biggest galaxies if our mind has created it then the mind has done an amazing feat and if the mind has made this world the mind should be able to destroy the world as well but no matter how much you try the world will remain the microphone will remain it is not a creation of the mind so jagat guru ramanuja acharya in vishisht advaitvad said the world is satya jagat guru nimbarka acharya in dvait advaitvad dual non dualism he said the world is satya
जगत गुरु माधवाचार्य इन द्वैतवाद डुअलिस्टिक थ्योरी ही सेट द वर्ल्ड इज सत्य महाप्रभु वल्लभाचार्य इन विशुद्ध द्वैतवाद सेट द वर्ल्ड इज सत्य एंड महाप्रभु चैतन्य इन अचिंत्य भेदा भेदवाद साइमल्टेनियस एंड इनकनसीवेबल वननेस एंड डुअलिटी ही एक्सप्लेन दट द वर्ल्ड इज सत्य so these six authorities in the vedic philosophy one said it is mithya and five said it is satya jagat guru shri kripalu ji maharaj who was honored as the fifth original jagat guru after madhvacharya after a gap of 700 years he reconciled these two he said you know both are right those who say the world is mithya they are also right those who say the world is satya they are also right you would say how come is he sitting on the fence is he compromising no he is reconciling and synthesizing he explains that there are two worlds one is the external world one is the internal world the external world made of the five elements earth water fire air sky this is the external world this is satya it's created by god and then there is another world that is inside us the world of our own mind our thoughts ideas attachments hatreds desires aversions this is the inner world you may say swami ji is there a world within us there is the external world is very small in comparison this inner world is bigger than the pacific ocean see at night when you sleep you see dreams of course in the dream do you see the outer world of course not your eyes are closed they are under the comforter how can you see the outside world but even in the dream straight you are seeing you are running you are walking sometimes you are going all the way from here to india or even flying in the air how is all that happening that is the world within your own mind so there is a world inside us that is very astonishing and that inner world is not made by god it is made by us everybody's inner world is different you see let us say that you got your new cadillac and came home with it the cadillac is the external object now you create a feeling of joy what an amazing feat i have done and your neighbor looks at the cadillac the same cadillac that is giving you joy is giving him misery this guy badmash ke paas black ka paisa hoga that is how he has got this cadillac the feeling of happiness and misery is different for everyone that is their own inner creation that is the inner world the external world is not created by the mind it is created by god the inner world is created by ourselves the external world is satya it is existent because god is satya whatever god creates is satya why should god create something mithya false 
The inner world is mithya. It is created by the mind. The mind doesn't have the capacity to create external realities. It is only making its own ideas. So, those who say the world is mithya, you are very correct, the inner world is. Those who say the world is satya, very correct, the outer world is. But those who say the outer world is mithya, incorrect.